Okay, today I'm going to show you how to put Windows 7 Portal on a PSP. You need an internet connection and you can do this on official firmware. Okay, so first thing you want to do is um, download my file. It's not my file, they're not any of my files. But um, it's on my website. Well, link to mine. You want to extract all. Look at this. Connect your PSP. I'm just using it through a card reader. Go into your PSP, common, and transfer. When you have to open up this, you're going to get Mac OS X and Windows 7. Mac OS X pretty much goes into Windows 7, and that. It's got some scripts, it's got some system. You know, bullcrap like that. Um, what you want is Windows 7. So you want to take that, drag and drop it, copy and paste it, do whatever. Just put it in your PSP common folder. So, as soon as you do that, close them both down. Take your memory stick, put it in your PSP, or in my case, go to your internet and open up your internet. As soon as your internet opens, I'm going to open my webcam to show you what to do next. Um, your internet's going to look different than mine because I have Safari. I'm going to show you that, guys, in my next video. Um, but you're going to want to type in this link. Uh, it's not going to say this. It's going to say when 7 forward slash index.exe or index.html uh, so write that in and I'll show you guys what's next okay. give you a quick enough time you're gonna come up to this screen it's gonna say yes yes I know that's Windows Vista Donut or that's Windows Vista Donut X Now you can see how that's an issue. Simply just start bookmarks after you link it, set it up, go into your bookmarks, and just reopen the um, bookmark. Code yes. And it should just log in. Uh, password. I have my password set. Okay, log in. There you go. Done. Windows 7. Um, everything works except the Internet Explorer over here. I don't know why it doesn't want to work for me. Um, gadgets. The uh, time doesn't have a clock, so that's pointless. Although it does have the time in the bottom right hand corner. And um, according to my clock, that is actually. Um, correct on my country my jersey New Jersey yep it is a little off though but everything works on here like I'll I'll open up the start menu for you, for you guys oh that was my elbow I just hit start menu and you know actually open up my start menu looks almost identical except for the fact that it's got the two little Icons, devices and printers, control panel, network. Well, one doesn't say network, I got rid of it. But you know, it's got all the, um, it's got all the buttons and whatnot. So, I mean, it, 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 everything works. It's got notepad. So, we say if you're at school, I mean, you don't even need an internet connection for this. You just need the internet to download it. But, notepad works. Well, it used to work. It works on Vista. I know that. So, if, if you want Vista, the link is in the description. Sorry, I'm hungry. Um, that's pretty much it. The next thing I'm going to show you 
is either the iPhone and iTunes you're gonna have to do completely separately that's harder it's a little difficult to understand but you'll get it because I'll show you guys how to do it um, other than that I'm also gonna show you how to make your internet browser look like Safari and actually be able to Google directly from it so it'll be all work out um, I'm a hungry child and thank you for watching comment rate subscribe well like um,